During World War II, the British Army was still using 303 caliber ammunition developed in the late 19th century, which was actually not very suitable during the war. Its structure was not compatible with modern automatic firearms. Although the British Army had hoped to replace it with new ammunition several times, it was delayed due to war, economic, and other issues. It wasn't until the encounter with the STG-44 assault rifle during World War II that the idea of developing intermediate power ammunition became stronger. According to the requirements proposed in 1945, the 280 Intermediate Power Ammunition, 7mm caliber, was developed. Then, several assault rifles were developed around the new ammunition, including the EM-2. After the end of World War II, the Enfield Royal Small Arms Factory initially developed the EM-1 assault rifle using Mauser 7.92mm ammunition. The EM-1 was a bullpup assault rifle, but it was not adopted due to caliber and other issues. The EM-2, as a successor to the EM-1, had a high degree of external similarity, but their internal structures were actually quite different. The EM-2 assault rifle used the newly developed 280 ammunition, and the entire firing mechanism was placed in the buttstock position, greatly reducing the overall length of the rifle. The barrel was 623 mm long, and there were no structures such as a flash suppressor at the muzzle, which was relatively rare for an assault rifle, although the possibility of later installation was not ruled out. It was equipped with a slightly curved 20-round magazine, and the rifle used a gas-operated automatic principle, with a firing rate of 450 to 600 rounds per minute, and an initial muzzle velocity of 771 meters per second, with an effective range of about 700 meters. The EM-2 could be used with two types of optical sights, a conical optical sight for rapid aiming and shooting, and a general-purpose optical sight for long-range precision shooting, both of which were mounted on the carrying handle above the rifle. At that time, the UK attached great importance to the newly developed .280 caliber series of assault rifles, because it was not only a matter of updating the UK's light weapons, but also involved many other aspects, such as future foreign weapon trade. In April 1951, the UK designated the EM-2 as the new rifle for the Army, and it seemed that large-scale production and deployment were imminent. However, what happened next directly ended the fate of the EM-2. At that time, NATO was working on standardizing weapon and ammunition calibers, and the British also brought their 280 ammunition to compete. However, the United States played a veto-like role, believing that the 280 ammunition was less powerful and not suitable for weapons such as machine guns. They then chose the 7.62Q 51mm ammunition. Due to the different ammunition structure, the EM-2 assault rifle could not be modified to use this ammunition, and the rifle subsequently lost its development space, even though the 280 ammunition had the advantage of lower recoil. The EM-2 assault rifle had an empty weight of 3.41 kilograms, a total length of 889 millimeters, a caliber of 7 millimeters, used a 20-round magazine, and an optical sight, with an effective range of about 700 meters.